In Washington, there is an ongoing conversation about protecting service members' health from trauma that's caused by repeated explosions, whether in combat or in training. In a Senate Armed Services Committee hearing, Independent Senator Angus King and Secretary of the Army Christine Wormuth discussed how that's being done now. Here's part of that exchange. We are also uh, looking at what additional personal protective equipment we can provide to our folks, especially instructors and others who are routinely exposed to blast pressure. We are also looking into wearable gauges that would allow us to continuously track what soldiers are being exposed to. The challenge we've had to date is we haven't been able to find sufficiently ruggedized gauges, so we need to do some more work on that, but I... If the gauges can't stand the blast, what does that say about the soldier's brain? Well, I, it's more that the gauges, I, as I understand it, you know, didn't do very well in, in sort of field environments, but I know uh, Special Operations Command has um, some wearable gauges on their UPL list, and I think we'll be looking at sort of what they're um, hoping to invest in. But we are very attentive to the brain-induced injury issues. The Lewiston shooter was an Army reservist and longtime instructor at an Army hand grenade training range. An analysis of his brain conducted by Boston University revealed significant evidence of traumatic brain injuries. Those who conducted the study believe he was exposed to thousands of low-level blasts at the training range.